Hi everyone, we're gonna use Photopea. It's free, photopea.com, or you can use your Photoshop, whatever you wanna do. You're gonna open up an image that shows action. In this image, it's a freeze. And we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is go to, um, to make it black and white, image adjustments, black and white. And then you say, okay. Then we're gonna crop it, with the crop tool. And we're gonna pick eight by 10. You just type that in to fixed ratio. So, is it gonna let me? Eight by 10, that looks good. Okay, it looks like it needs to be cropped a little bit more. Let me try that again. There. Uh, and now we're going to put a rectangle on it that's purple. And the exact color is 591B81. You can just type that in, say okay, and then you just do the rectangle on it. And you know what? I'm struggling with making, oh, background color. Maybe it's here. Maybe I put that number here. 5DLC87. Let's see if that does it. See if that does it. Hmm. No, it's doing a, a sheet gallery. Okay, so instead of doing that, we're gonna throw that away. On your other one, it would probably work, but I can't change this fill color because the purple's not in there and I don't know how to bring the, um, I'm not sure how to um, get this color in there properly. But um, another way to do it is by just selecting selecting the area you want to um, make purple and make a new layer. Um, and then we're gonna use the paintbrush and paint over it on its own layer. That's one way of doing it too. So you just wanna make sure you paint it everywhere. It's taking a little longer, sorry. But there's like a million ways to do um, the same thing in Photoshop. They, but you get the idea. I'm just trying to fill all of it in. It's a little slower because I have the recording going. And I'm gonna move it to the spot I want to make it look like a Polaroid. And then over here, I'm gonna change it to multiply. And then I'm gonna change the opacity. That looks good. One more thing we can do, deselect, go down to this layer. And if you want, you can go to image adjustment levels and you can just um, bring the, um, the gray a little this way so it's a little darker. And you can make the whites a little whiter going this way and say, okay, I think that looks good. Sorry trying to get rid of this gallery thing. I don't know why it's there. Okay, so we're gonna save it now. File, on this particular one, it would normally be file save as. Oh, file save as um, JPEG, or you can go export JPEG. That's what we want in this situation. We want the highest quality. Look at, it was eight by 10 to start off with, now it got a little smaller because it kept crawling cropping. But then the finished product will go down here and you can click on it. And there it is. And you will you can change the name of the file um, to whatever you want. When you save it, it'll just save the name you already had. Um, but file save 
you can change the name. Um, and it's nice to put your name on your files so that when we do a search, but this looks really good. So you're gonna turn that in um, to Google Classroom. Maybe do a couple if you want. Um, my, I made a couple examples, which I have in here. I use this blur picture. That's what we'd be doing right now if we were in school. And I turned it into this. That's a blur, not a pan. I don't know why to call it a pan. So when something's moving by, it's blurring. It looks really cute. And then I have this one. It's a freeze. Oh yeah, that's a pan. See the difference? You're panning with the subject and then the background blurs. And then I do, that. the first one we did was a freeze with the girl's hair flipping. So, so we have a blur, pan, and a freeze. <laughs> Those are shutter speeds, and I'm gonna teach you how to do that. But for now, we're just going with this Polaroid look, and we wanna uh, post these, it'll be really fun. Thank you so much.